Hello electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background, feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm reviewing the Nissan LEAF. I'll be covering the most important features to see whether it crushes the competition or not. With its new price tag, let's see whether it'll crush the competition or not. Oh, and one more thing before we start. What did Peter Parker say to Elon Musk? With great power comes great electricity bills! Okay, now back to the video. Did you know Nissan has been producing electric vehicles since 1946? The low-volume Ultra Station Wagon and Hyper Mini Micro Car preceded the LEAF. The Nissan LEAF, often known as the LEAF, is a five-door hatchback battery electric vehicle, BEV, produced by Nissan. It was first released in December 2010 in Japan and the United States, and the second generation was released in October 2017. Due to the adoption of a bigger battery pack and small enhancements, the LEAF's range on a full charge has been steadily extended from 73 miles to 364 kilometers, 226 miles, EPA rated. The LEAF has received the 2010 Green Car Vision Award, the 2011 European Car of the Year, the 2011 World Car of the Year, and the 2011 to 2012 Car of the Year Japan, among other accolades and distinctions. By December 2020, the world had sold 500,000 LEAF cars. More than 208,000 units were sold in Europe in September 2021, 161,000 in the United States, and more than 150,000 in Japan. Through December 2019, the Nissan LEAF was the world's best-selling plug-in electric vehicle. In early 2020, the Tesla Model 3 overtook the LEAF as the best-selling electric vehicle of all time. The Automotive Science Group, ASG, released the findings of a research in February 2014 that evaluated the life cycle of over 1,300 vehicles across nine categories marketed in North America. The Nissan LEAF has the least life cycle environmental footprint of any model year 2014 car available in the North American market with a minimum four-person occupancy according to the research. According to the findings, the additional environmental consequences of manufacturing battery electric technology are more than compensated by improved environmental performance during operation. The research analyzed the average power mix of the US system in 2014 to make its judgment. Nissan reported in December 2014 the LEAF owners have collectively traveled 625 million miles by driving an electric automobile instead of a gasoline-powered car. The amount of electric distance equates to avoiding 180 million kilos of C2 emissions. Nissan announced in December 2016 that the LEAF customers worldwide have collectively traveled 1.9 billion miles through November 2016, saving over 500 million kilos of C2 emissions. Design and Engineering Radically different from the previous model, the new Nissan LEAF is closer to the other models in the range of the Japanese manufacturer. It thus incorporates many elements present on the rest of the range, such as the V-shaped grille, the optional two-tone color boomerang optics, or even the floating roof, much more dynamic than the previous generation. The look is both more attractive and consensual. Nissan aimed for a mass appeal with the LEAF by giving it a familiar five-door hatchback shape. The car's body features a strong V-shaped design with big up-slanting headlamps that divide the channel wind away from the door mirrors and aerodynamic paneling on the bottom. The battery, which is the biggest component of most electric cars, is located beneath the seats and rear foot area, lowering the center of gravity and improving structural stiffness over a traditional five-door hatchback. At 4.480 long, it can carry up to five passengers. The boot space has also been optimized and now allows up to 435 liters of cargo. Interior Despite the large amount of black plastic in the cabins of the LEAF S and SV, the well-assembled and homogeneous texturing keep it from seeming cheap. Optional light gray leather inside with matching dash pad is available on the SL variant, which looks and feels better. A huge analog speedometer sits beside a 7.0-inch digital readout that can be adjusted to show a variety of information. The seats in the LEAF are lazy boy soft and the large back seat has plenty of room for people. The cargo capacity of the LEAF is among the finest in its class despite the fact that the back seat does not fold flat to offer a level load floor when folded. You should be able to stow 7 carry-on baggage behind the back seat and 19 when the rear seat is folded. The Bolt EV by comparison could fit 5 people in its cargo space and up to 16 with the back seats folded down. The Nero EV, which has a larger SUV-like body style, packs somewhat more baggage, but the LEAF remains the best electric car. 
The 8.0-inch infotainment display is standard on all Leaf variants with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Navigation is available as an option while not very appealing to the eye. The current Nissan Connect software interface is straightforward and fast to approach to inputs. The Leaf's conventional 6-speaker audio system may disappoint audiophiles. A 7-speaker Bose system is available only in the SL and SL Plus variants. Performance Standard Leaf models have a 109 kW electric motor that drives the front wheels with a 40.0 kWh battery pack providing the power. 159 kW electric motor and a larger 62.0 kWh battery are standard on Leaf Plus models. The former clocks a 7.4 second 0 to 60 mph time, but thanks to the electric motor's instantaneous power delivery, it should feel a lot more. Lightly than the number suggests because of this, it's slower than both the Bolt EV and the Model 3. Upgrades to the more powerful Plus models will almost certainly result in faster acceleration. The e-pedal feature on the Leaf allows the driver to switch between regenerative braking mode, one of which allows the car to coast when the driver lifts off the throttle and the other of which slows the car and uses the energy to recharge the battery when you take your foot off the gas. This year, on the SV Plus trim level, the Leaf is having the Pro Pilot Assist semi-autonomous driving mode. Nissan's Safety Shield 360 suite of driver assistance systems is standard across the lineup, and the ProPilot Assist Semi-Autonomous Driving Mode is offered as part of the technology package on SV, SV Plus, and SL trims. It's standard on the SL Plus. The following are important safety features. Pedestrian recognition and standard autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring with rear cross-traffic warning is standard. Adaptive cruise control with semi-autonomous driving mode is available. Battery life. The Leaf can be charged using either a conventional 120V or 240V outlet. However, the charging periods differ significantly. Nissan claims that both the normal Leaf and the bigger Leaf Plus battery can be recharged in 7 hours using a 240V hookup. All trims come included with a DC fast charging port. The basic Leaf has a 40.0 kWh battery that has a range of 149 miles. This may be sufficient range for some drivers with short commutes but it is less than half of the range provided by the Variant 3 long-range model. Due to its bigger battery pack, the Leaf Plus offers a longer driving range. You'll need the S Plus trim level to get the Leaf's full 226-mile driving range, while the SV Plus and SL Plus versions only get 215 miles. This year, Nissan made the Chademo fast charging port standard on all Leaf models. Nissan Safety Shield 360 suite of driver assistance systems is standard across the lineup, and the Pro Pilot Assist Semi Autonomous Driving Mode is offered as part of the technology package on SV, SV Plus, and SL trims. It's standard on the SL Plus. The following are important safety features pedestrian recognition and standard autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring with rear cross, traffic warning is standard, adaptive cruise control with semi autonomous driving mode is available. Important to know from their YouTube channel, Bjorn Nyland, the battery of the Nissan LEAF, being devoid of liquid cooling device, its charging speed may be reduced in the event of successive recharging, the heating of the pack resulting in reduced performance as a safety measure. Price and model range The main news is the LEAF's significant price cut, with a starting price of just over $28,000 before state and federal tax subsidies. The LEAF is currently the cheapest new electric vehicle on the market. All trim levels are now between $4,245 and $6,545 less expensive than last year. The trim's price are as follows. The S trim is $28,375, the SV trim is $29,375, the S plus trim is $33,375, the SV plus is $36,375, and the DL plus costs $38,375. The S plus may be the greatest value here. Since it is a reasonable pricing, the longest driving range, the most powerful electric engine, and still comes with a solid collection of basic features. It comes with an 8.0 inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto automated temperature control, keyless entry with push button start, and automatic headlights. This wraps up my review of the Nissan Leaf. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for sticking around through the very end of this video. Nothing helps out my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.